everybody. It's me, it's Ghost Critic. Thank you for joining me on yet another new comic book day. They do seem to come around incredibly quickly these days, or maybe it's just because I do my comic book review video a day later now, or at least upload it, and it feels like I've only just finished last week's, and now I only have to wait a day for a new lot. And why am I complaining? Um, this week, I think I had two, four, six, seven books on my pull list to pick up. Did not get anything new, despite uh, the pusher behind the counter uh, trying to get me to pick up all sorts of new stuff. There's a new Bendis uh, Mac book out. Um, I think it's called Cover. Um, Ian was very persistent about that, but no, no. I have got a new number one in my pull list this week, um, and I'll be showing you that in just a little bit, because we're going to do a little bit of catch up. Um, what did I do on Friday as a video? I believe it was a Fantastic Four collection video, wasn't it? Kind of rounding out the Volume 1 90s era. Thank you to those of you who did check that out. Um, and of course, on Monday was my comic book review video. Now, I don't think there will be a video this Friday. I am very, very tired at the moment. Um, I have on plan for the following Friday, which I'll be telling you about a bit later. There are two videos that I want to do, um, but due to just lack of energy, um, I just didn't want to do them because I thought, you know, I wanted to put my all into it. Um, so I'm going to be posting those, not next week, but the week after because I'm going to have to take a week off uh, because it's my birthday. Not next week, but the week after. I'm taking a whole week off work. I will be away from home. I won't have any comics to pick up. I won't be able to talk about any comics. I won't even be able to put them up on Twitter for you lot to have a look at. Um, so I'll have to put something in their stead. So those two videos plus... I thought we would try, and I haven't done this in a long time, and this is all beholden on you out there. Um, let's do a QA. and a I've not done a Q&A for years. So if you've got any burning questions, comic book related, that you'd love to ask me, um, uh, put them down in the comments section, um, and you will get uh, your answer questioned. No, you will get your question answered. What? You will get your question... Shall I just give up now? You will get your question answered and you will get a shout out at the same time. I, I feel like I should stop this now and start again, but I'm really not going to. You're just going to have to deal with this. I am very, very tired. I just want to go to bed. Um, so yes, throw your questions down in the comment section. Um, I will put some caveats on that. I don't, I would rather, I, I hate to say I don't want you to, but I'd rather you not put what are your top five favourite or what's your top ten favourite. Um, Let's let's make them a little bit interesting and I won't talk about anything controversial that goes on in either the comic book community or the, the comic book publishing world. So let's keep it positive and fun and light guys. Let's have a look at some comics before I go completely crazy. Uh, let's kick off with Marvel. Um, I'm still a bit on the fence with um, this new run of Astonishing X-Men. We're up to issue 15. Uh, Matthew Rosenberg is doing an absolutely fantastic job on The Punisher. Um, but unfortunately, this is kind of Greg Land artwork and it's not always the best. In fact, I just don't like him as an artist and I think that's partially putting me off uh, and distracting me from what could possibly be or actually be quite a good story. 
Um, what I am loving in leaps and bounds is Jason Aaron's Avengers. We're up to issue seven. We just kind of finished off the last story arc, which was so much fun. And I think we're going to kind of have a... I, I don't know if I want to call it an origin story, but it goes back to that, I guess, the prehistoric Avengers, and we're going to be looking at Ghost Rider uh, specifically. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how Jason Aaron ties that all up with what's going on in the present day. But love this. Um, Ed McGuinness, oh no, Ed McGuinness is no longer on art or for the time being. I didn't think he'd last for long, to be honest. Uh, Sarah Pacelli and Justin Ponza are, are now on there. Um, that, that's a shame to see Ed McGuinness go, but um, like I, said, I knew he wouldn't last long after the first arc. Um, on to DC, we have got issue Two of um, Adventures of uh, the Super Sons. Um, I love this book. It's so fun. Um, so much uh, vibrancy to it. And it's just out and out comic book adventure with two kids having the time of their life. Um, the uh, first issue of this 12 issue Maxi series brought in the kind of kid versions of various DC villains that I'm guessing have come from an alternative timeline. I will say the paper stock has changed on this. Um, DC are gradually going and turning all their comic books into this uh, this less gloss, well, it's, it's this matte paper. The texture on it, I love. It just harkens back to those good old days but th there's a there's a there's a thickness about it though it's not so papery uh, but I do like this new paper stock that they're using but you know if you're going to be using this um, I think the price could come down perhaps or are there other charges involved now using this paper I don't know someone better than me could probably answer down in the comment section um, this will be the video for next Friday. Obviously, I said that I would be doing a separate video reviewing each of the new Sandman Universe titles. We had the kind of uh, primer one-shot, uh, the Sandman Universe, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and this is the first issue proper of The Dreaming, uh, written by Simon Spurrier, art by Bill Chris Evely, and I'm guessing the colours by Matt Lopez. Again, they're using this new paper stock. Uh, interesting. I thought Vertigo might, um, might have been exempt from this, but no, it looks like they're all going back to the matte paper stock. But um, I'm really looking forward to getting uh, into a proper meaty chunk of one of these four titles um, that are spinning out of our new Sandman universe. Um, great, great stuff. Uh, on to the last three books, which are all image. Uh, we have Paper Girls, issue 24, Brian K. Vaughan and um, Cliff Chang. Uh, perhaps this will come out a little bit more regularly now that um, Brian K. Vaughan has taken a huge break from Saga over a year, he says. Um, and this perhaps may wrap up very soon as well. Uh, I'm guessing, looking at the cover, this could potentially be the curing of, I think her name's Mac, um, who she's discovered by flitting all through these timelines, um, past, present and future, that she has cancer. I do love the book. I just think it's time to, to wrap that shit up. Uh, issue 38 of Black Science, uh, I believe this one wraps up the present story arc and then we are taking one final hiatus. Uh, this comes back in December to do its last story arc before it ends. I've loved Black Science from the very beginning, uh, the science fiction mixed in with the fantasy genre has just been a joy, seeing all these different versions of each other, different dimensions, the imagination, and let us not forget, Matteo Scalero's art has been 
magnificent. Love this book. And finally, and people, please beware, uh, and if you don't catch this, uh, catch this because I did not know this, uh, David Lapham's Stray Bullets, issue 38, all well and good. You never know what's going to be inside it. But you definitely some see something different on the cover. If I just get that closer and closer. Why have we had a price hike to $4.99 for this comic now? Uh, what happened in a month, Mr. Lapham? Uh, I, it doesn't look any bigger or any smaller there's no less pages no more pages um it's still in black and white what's going on i don't know do you black black science that was the last book stray bullets is a hilarious um it is you need to have a, a certain sense of humor to enjoy this uh it, it's very kind of dark black humor at times um there's always something kind of tense going on you don't know how these kind of main characters manage to stay alive but they do and it is a joyous thing to read i love the way david lapham interweaves all these characters and all their storylines uh, you just never know what you're going to get from issue to issue but you certainly know about the price now and that is all my books for this week. If you want to hear my thoughts and opinions on those, please check out my comic book review video, which will be out this coming Monday. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, then you won't miss out on that. Hit the notification bell. Um, a little email will pop up or a little message will come up on your device saying Ghost Critic has uploaded a video or something crazy like that and then you won't miss out on it. Give the video a big thumbs up. It lets me know you love me. And comment down below. Let me know what new books you picked up this week. I will see you very soon. Take care. I'm going to bed. Bye-bye.